This is the May basket making tutorial. As you can see, I've cut my bangs. I think it's okay. And um, yes, we're all learning new skills right now. So I'm going to show you today how to make a um, sweet little May basket um, with your piece of colored paper. You have a choice. Um, you can divide your paper up into four to make four small, smaller baskets, or you can use it whole to make a, a larger basket. This is a, a really lovely size for tulips or other long stemmed flowers. Um, one of my colleagues dropped this off on my doorway last week. It was very sweet. So begin with your colored paper that came in your craft package. Um, if you're going to make a large basket, you can uh, just follow my instructions from here with the, the whole piece. Otherwise, you're going to fold it in half, cut it along one edge, and then um, once that's cut, fold it in half again the other way and cut along this edge, and you will have four little pieces about that size. So to begin, take the short, um, if, if I'm holding it, up on a diagonal, take the short side and start to curl it towards the center and then the long side curls in on the other the other way towards the center as well. And then we need to sort of finick, be a little bit finicky here, Roll, we're rolling it into a cone shape. A um, little bit tricky for small hands, little fingers, so um, you will probably need to either do this part or help your child with this part. Um, they can certainly collect flowers and make bou bouquets. Um, I usually love that, those bits. Okay, so we have the cone is pointed or very small on one end and has is wide on this end and has a, that point on the top. When that's ready, okay. We are going to glue, you can also use tape, totally fine, uh, that edge, put a little dab of glue, and then just hold it. If you're using glue, then you'll, you'll need to hold it for a moment to let it set. If you're using tape, you can just tape it um, around the outside. If you can even staple it, if you have a stapler in there, put a couple staples in. Um, just making that into a nice little 3D cone. Then you are going to put on the strap. So there's a few options for um, making the strap. You can cut a long, thin strip of paper to be your strap. You can use a piece of ribbon. Um, or uh, what I'm using, what I am have used is a little bit of yarn or string. I've braided it uh, to make a handle that's possible too. So if you've cut some paper to make a strap, all you're going to do is put a dab of glue on one side and fasten your strap in, into the inside of the cone there and then the same on the other side. You, again, you can staple or tape, it's fine too. Same with ribbon. If you are using string, like me, I suggest that you take a hole punch and then you will just punch a little hole about half inch or a quarter inch down on each side. And then you can slip your yarn or thread or string in through that hole and tie a knot and the same same on the other side then your finished cone should look something like this hey okay. you can make those ahead of time um, and if you are going to be putting them around your neighborhood um, one possibility in terms of keeping it safe is making the baskets a few days in advance um, or and keeping them outside uh, and then wash, of course washing your hands before you deliver them. When you're ready to decorate them with flowers, um, 
You can ask your children to pick some things that are in your yard or outside on your walks, or you can use purchased flowers, whatever you like. I just asked my kids to um, get some things. These all came from my my lawn. We have not mowed our lawn yet, which is very good for the bees right now. We will later, but um, so I have dandelions and some clover and forget-me-nots. Really simple. And you'll want to cut the ends so that they are all about the same length. Um, and the, this is the, a part that the children generally really love is um, making little bouquets. If you're going to do a few baskets, they can sort of arrange um, the little bouquets together. So in my tutorial, I suggested using paper towel to moisten the bottom of the flowers. I did not have any, so I used toilet paper, which is totally fine. You can also use Kleenex. And I just wrapped, I moistened it and then wrapped it around the base. Um, I also recommended aluminum foil, which I do suggest it's, it's a bit it's easier to work with, um, but I didn't have any of that either. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do it with parchment. You could also use a little bit of plast a plastic bag or um, plastic wrap, whatnot, whatever you have around. And what we will do is once your moistened paper towel or toilet paper is wrapped around the base, we are going to place um, the bouquet about halfway down your strip of aluminum foil or plastic or parchment. Fold that up and then we will roll it around and around and we're making it um, it's just going to be nice and moist so that the flowers can stay fresh but also waterproof as well if you're using parchment or plastic you might need a bit of a rubber a bit of rubber band or string to fasten it uh, aluminum foil should hold itself okay you have your bouquet you have your May basket. Um, your child, of course, could also have, before you made the basket, um, colored or painted um, on the basket itself to decorate it. That's welcome. And then you pop your flowers in just like that. And you have a very sweet, lovely little May basket. Now, the tradition is uh, that these are delivered in secret. So if you choose um, to do this in your own house, maybe you'll need to um, have maybe one, one of the adults can, can work with your child or your children to surprise the others. And you can go around in the evening or at a, at a secret time when you can do it quietly and hang them on the doorknobs of your family members rooms and if you are going to do this in your neighborhood um, nice you can also tuck a little message of a sweet message of encouragement or kindness and um, again I suggest you can make the baskets ahead of time or leave them outside and before you deliver them wash your hands really well and that is your May basket making tutorial. And I hope that if you choose to do this craft, that it brings you and whoever receives the baskets lots of joy.